In this podcast episode, Dr. Joe Dispenza, a neuroscientist and researcher, discusses the neuroscience and biology of change. He explains that change is possible when we change our thoughts, behaviors, and emotions. The key is to understand the connection between the mind and body and how they work together to create our reality. Dr. Dispenza emphasizes the importance of understanding the process of transformation. He explains that change begins with making a different choice and being conscious of our unconscious thoughts. By becoming aware of our habitual patterns and behaviors, we can start to make intentional changes in our lives. Emotions play a significant role in the process of change. Dr. Dispenza explains that our emotions are linked to our memories and experiences. When we experience negative emotions, our body produces chemicals that reinforce those emotions. By changing our emotional state and focusing on positive emotions, we can rewire our brain and create new neural pathways. Dr. Dispenza discusses how people can become addicted to their own negative thoughts. He explains that the brain can get stuck in a loop of negative thinking, which can lead to feelings of unhappiness and suffering. By breaking free from these negative thought patterns and creating new, positive thoughts, we can change our emotional state and create a new reality. Dr. Dispenza shares a powerful story of a woman who attended one of his events and experienced a profound transformation. Despite facing multiple health challenges and being confined to a wheelchair, the woman was able to overcome her conditions through the power of changing her thoughts and emotions. By letting go of past traumas and focusing on creating a new future, she was able to heal her body and live a healthier, happier life. Dr. Dispenza emphasizes the importance of measuring the effects of meditation on the brain, heart, immune system, genes, and overall biology. He has conducted extensive research in collaboration with the University of California, San Diego, collecting over 500 billion data points. The studies have shown significant changes in brain function, gene expression, immune system response, and overall health in individuals practicing meditation. Despite the unbelievable nature of the results, Dr. Dispenza's research has been published and peer-reviewed, demonstrating the rigor and validity of the findings. The data challenges traditional beliefs and opens up new possibilities for understanding the mind-body connection and the potential for healing through meditation. Dr. Dispenza discusses the importance of longitudinal studies to track the long-term effects of meditation on individuals. He notes that those who continue to practice meditation after experiencing initial transformations tend to sustain their improvements over time. The key is to embrace the process of change and continue the practice to maintain the benefits. Dr. Dispenza explains the biological changes that occur during meditation, particularly in relation to brainwaves. He describes how shifting from beta to alpha and theta brainwave patterns can lead to a state of heightened consciousness and connection. Individuals in a gamma brainwave state experience autonomic regulation and a surge of energy throughout the body, leading to instantaneous biological upgrades. The subjective experience of meditation is described as somatic, emotional, and metaphorical. Individuals often report feeling vibrations, lightness, and a sense of connection during meditation. The language used to describe these experiences is often metaphorical and symbolic reflecting the profound nature of the internal transformations taking place. Dr. Dispenza delves into the nature of fear and its adaptive and maladaptive aspects. He explains how fear can be a natural response to perceived threats, but can become detrimental when it leads to chronic anxiety and stress. By practicing mindfulness, breathing techniques, and shifting attention to the heart center, individuals can learn to overcome fear and reprogram their responses to stressful situations. The key to overcoming painful emotions is through consistent practice of mindfulness and emotional regulation. By facing off with fear, lowering the volume of negative emotions, and practicing feeling something else, individuals can rewire their brain and break free from the cycle of reliving past traumas. Technology can also be used to provide feedback and guidance during the meditation process. Dr. Dispenza delves into the concept of gratitude as the ultimate state of receiving. He explains that practicing gratitude involves feeling the emotion of gratitude and opening one's heart to receive. 
He shares a study where participants experienced physiological changes, such as increased immunoglobulin levels, after practicing gratitude for four days. Dr. Dispenza encourages individuals to practice feeling gratitude for things they haven't yet received, as it can lead to profound changes in their biology and overall well-being. He also emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and investing in oneself to bring about positive changes. He discusses the role of beliefs in creating one's reality and the need to believe in oneself to manifest desired outcomes. He encourages individuals to challenge their limiting beliefs and embrace the possibility of creating a better future for themselves. He suggests that changing one's energy and mindset can lead to significant transformations in life. Dr. Dispenza explores the balance between intention and surrender in achieving goals and manifesting desires. He explains that overintending can lead to excessive effort, while oversurrendering can result in passivity. He advocates for immersing oneself in the experience and putting in good, clean effort to see results. He shares his approach of building a model of understanding and practicing until one starts seeing the effects of their efforts. Dr. Dispenza discusses the importance of redefining love and practicing feeling love to cultivate self-love. He explains that loving oneself involves practicing feeling love and becoming less selfish and more selfless. He shares stories of individuals who experienced healing and transformation through practicing self-love and feeling deep levels of love. He emphasizes the connection between feeling love and healing the body highlighting the transformative power of love in one's life. Dr. Dispenza touches on the idea of overcoming fear, judgment, and criticism by cultivating a sense of innate comfort and joy within oneself. He suggests that when individuals are in a state of love and acceptance, threats or criticisms from others appear as unattractive deals that they choose not to engage with. He believes that moving out of survival mode allows people to tap into their natural kindness, care, and support for one another, leading to healing and positive interactions. Dr. Dispenza explains that self-regulation is the ability to control our internal state and change our emotional responses in challenging situations. By practicing relaxation in the heart and awakening the brain, we can create new neural connections and overcome stress. Mental rehearsal involves visualizing and practicing desired behaviors or outcomes in our minds, which can help rewire the brain and manifest positive changes in our lives. Mental rehearsal allows us to create new neural pathways in the brain by visualizing desired outcomes and behaviors. Dr. Dispenza shares a study where people who mentally rehearsed playing the piano showed similar brain activity to those who physically practiced demonstrating the power of visualization in shaping our reality. By mentally rehearsing positive behaviors and outcomes, we can reprogram our brains and manifest our goals. Chronic stress can manifest in various ways, including anger, anxiety, fear, and insecurity. Dr. Dispenza explains that stress hormones can hijack our attention and energy, leading to a focus on survival rather than growth. By lowering the volume of stress-inducing emotions and overcoming addiction to negative patterns, we can shift our focus from external triggers to internal growth and healing. Dr. Dispenza highlights the negative impact of technology on our attention spans and emotional well-being. Constant exposure to screens and information overload can hijack our pleasure centers and lead to addiction. He emphasizes the importance of disconnecting from technology and connecting with others in person to foster genuine relationships and communal experiences. Dr. Dispenza stresses the significance of communal experiences and bonding in fostering personal growth and healing. He explains that collective gatherings and events can create a sense of unity and connection that transcends individual experiences. By communing with others and sharing positive energy, we can tap into a higher level of consciousness and create a supportive environment for personal transformation. Dr. Dispenza acknowledges the challenges of overcoming negative self-talk and self-limiting beliefs. He encourages individuals to practice self-regulation, mental rehearsal, and mindfulness to break free from addictive emotional patterns and reprogram their brains for positive change. By shifting our focus from external triggers to internal growth, we can cultivate a sense of wholeness and empowerment 
in our lives. Dr. Dispenza highlights the importance of relationships in our personal growth. He explains that being in a relationship with others can push us out of our comfort zones and help us grow in ways that we wouldn't on our own. By sharing emotions, information, and energy with others, we can learn more about ourselves and others. One of the key patterns to be conscious of in relationships is the belief that you should make me happy. Dr. Dispenza explains that this subconscious belief can lead to codependency and unrealistic expectations in relationships. He encourages individuals to focus on bringing their best selves to a relationship and to communicate openly and honestly with their partners. Dr. Dispenza sees science as the contemporary language of mysticism, demystifying spiritual concepts and providing evidence for the power of the mind. He believes that science can help bridge the gap between mystical experiences and tangible results. By conducting research and experiments, he aims to show how internal changes can have profound effects on health and well-being. When discussing psychedelics, Dr. Dispenza acknowledges their potential for providing new perspectives and insights. However, he emphasizes the importance of intention and ceremony when using plant medicine. He also explores the idea of accessing higher states of consciousness without external substances by activating the body's own endogenous chemicals. Dr. Dispenza explains the significance of the pre-sleep and post-waking windows as opportunities to access the unconscious mind. By practicing self-reflection, setting intentions, and visualizing desired outcomes during these times, individuals can reprogram their subconscious beliefs and behaviors. This practice can lead to personal growth and transformation. Dr. Dispenza recommends incorporating meditation and heart coherence practices into a daily routine for personal growth. By focusing on broad awareness and synchronizing the brain and heart, individuals can achieve coherence and balance in their mental and emotional states. These practices can help cultivate a positive mindset and create lasting change in one's life.